Oh, that's how the words say. Oh, the words ain't got all corrupt. Yeah. Say something. Gotta say something. Amen. 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 You ain't saying anything, you ain't praising God. Amen. Amen. My thing is that if you can't pray, because praise is right for the same. Amen. Amen. If you can't pray, that means you're bound. Amen. Well, I've got a hand on you. Because I've got this mask on. Like you can't say softly. You can't say loudly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what they got to do with the call of being challenged? Uh -huh. They say, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. They got to be all in line, just can't all in line. Hey. Oh, man, so, <laughs> excuses, excuses. Amen. <laughs> hey, mm -hmm. Pudding. Mm -hmm. That's what that was, a pudding, right? Yeah. Quit the pudding. Amen. Hey, Amen. Say it one more time. Quit the pudding. Quit the pudding. Over the gym. Mm -hmm. The word of God said he loves a what? Children. What kind of gift? Children. What kind of gift? Children. Children. Somebody that loves giving, right? Amen. Prompt to do in that gift. Amen. I learned why it, it's best to learn how to be happy in the giving. Amen. Cheerful about your giving. Mm -hmm. Everything is seed time and harvest. Amen. Right? Amen. I found out something else too. The ant and the cunning store up for the rainy day. Amen. Y'all know that? Amen. He be wondering why they got a lack and a shortage. Mm. Well, you eat up everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you didn't store up nothing. Amen. You didn't lay nothing back for the rainy day. Well, amen. 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 You wanted everything right now. Wow. That's this society we live in. Yep. Microwave. They want everything right now. Amen. And the biggest problem with all of some people in this society is they covet you. Amen. Wow. God said, Thou shalt not covet. Wow. Wow. Brother Tim was telling us a story about this man that went over these islanders and he went there to, uh, uh, they built a factory. <laughs> and uh, they had all the people come to work. <laughs> and the people came to work. Well. Then all of a sudden, everybody started falling off, and the fact that they had to shut down because they had nobody to run it. Mm -hmm. And they all wanted to find out what was the problem. Mm -hmm. So the, the descendant man, and the man went down the village just asking what was going on. They said, Well, we worked till we got what we needed. <laughs> now I don't have a need anymore, we didn't get to work anymore. <laughs> now y'all need to hold on, man. I want you to hear what he said. So what he did was he called back and told Sydney all the calendar molds you got. Y'all know what I'm saying? Send me all the catalogs you got. They only work to get what they need. So you went past out all these catalogs and slowly but surely, everybody came back to work. What do y'all think happened? They start coveting. <laughs> They didn't need it, but they wanted it. They started coveting. Now, what's wrong with most people in America? They're covetous. They're greedy. They're gluttons. And now they're living beyond what they really need. And then when a crisis comes up, they can't survive. And they're grumbling and they're complaining and they're rapping and mumbling because they were living beyond their necessities. The American lifestyle of American dream of fantasy. Yes. Deception. Yes. Making other folk rich mm -hmm. while your gadgets are made cheaper mm -hmm. and cost them more. Yep. Mm -hmm. yes. And America's still falling for that tree. Yes, well. yeah. Hello. Mm -hmm. Every year I talk about a certain item we use. Wow. Well, you know what I'm saying? Well, Every year. <laughs> now it's two, it's almost two, almost half a year they come out with a new one now. Amen. Amen. And what do most folk do? Yeah. And they put them on that payment plan yeah. and make it easy for them. Yeah. Y'all get what I'm saying? They found out that they can control you. With greed, yep. with the desire to have. Gee. And then they took advantage of you mm. by giving you something that every time you look around, 
is and people understand it. What do they call it, though, Janine? What do they call it when they send you advertising based on what you like? Um, targeted. Targeted marketing. That's it. And every time you go on the internet on your phone or your or your, your tablet or your computer, it's got this ad or something that you done looked at. Because <laughs> <laughs> they know after you see a thing so many times, you go go out and buy it. Four times on average. Four times on average. <laughs> wow. Thank you. See how you've been manipulated and controlled? As Brown say, manipulate it. <laughs> See how they've been manipulated oh, and you? And you wonder why your life is out of control. Because you gave up control. Oh. The only point you want to buy your need to is Lord. 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 the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And you made the commercial industry. Mm. The corporation, your God. Mm. Now you're wondering what's wrong with you. Mm. The love not the world. These are the things that are in the world. Amen. For the love of the world be in you. The love of the Father is not in you. Mm. Money and things are to be used for a purpose, Amen. not for greed. Amen. 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 Everything is seed time at home. Amen. Where did you plant your seed in? Hello. Amen. Now, right, I said, what am I spending your money for that which satisfies me? Read it. What is that, 55th chapter, 54th, 55th chapter, 55th chapter, 55th chapter, 55th chapter, 55th chapter? You need to read it. And yeah. study that. Now, I mean, really focus on it because we spend a whole lot of our money on it. And they got it. And they would say, uh, why did God give us the vision? Fulfill the vision. Good question. You know what God told me to do? To look at you. So I took my eyes off of him and started looking at you and started looking at what you were doing. Amen. I said, oh, that's why he said it ain't for you, it's for them. But they don't want it, we're not going to do it. Amen. I said, oh, that's why you said that. Amen. 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 I said, okay, Lord, I got it. I don't worry about it no more. Just keep on taking care of me and I'm keep on doing what I'm doing. Right. Teaching and preaching the truth for those Amen. that want it, those that don't want it, that them. Amen. 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 But how do you get to where you are? You see that you're with it. See, people think seed or seed is a good thing, or seed can be a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Everything you do, everything you say is a seed. Yeah, that's right. You understand? Every action, every deed, mm -hmm. every word is a seed. Mm -hmm. Your sowing is called a law of response, the law of seed time, a law of cause and effect. Mm -hmm. In the Bible, it's sowing and reaping, planting and plucking up, mm -hmm. giving and receiving. Yeah. Seed time and harvest. Mm -hmm. But in the world, it's those words I just told you. And then we wonder why things are happening when they happen. Look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. It's what you did or didn't do. Thank you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Lord. So if it's not working like you want it to work out. Wow. Okay. Y'all know, let me say this. Let me say this. I need to get this out of Zen spirit. God is not magic. God don't do things about magic. No. Nope. So if that's where you think it's going to happen by magic, <laughs> you keep on thinking. Mm -hmm. Hello. And if God showed me this so clearly and so plainly, how did Israel possess the promised land? Right. Did they just go and move in there? No. And settle down? What they had to do? They had to drive them people out. And one place they couldn't drive them out. Right. And the Bible said to that day they were still with me. <laughs> and I asked the question, well, why couldn't they do it? I kept studying and studying and studying, and I could not find it. said they were too strong, they couldn't drive them out. I said, why were they too strong? Then I remember Israel was not completely obedient to God. Right. If she had been completely obedient to God by the time they came up on that insurmountable right. fold, right. what was it, Gide the Gideonites or whatever they were called, the Jebusite, Jebusite. Yeah. When they came up on them, then they would have been overcome them. But they had weakened themselves by betraying God. Mm -hmm. Yes. You give strongholds to the enemy in your life when you don't obey God. Mm -hmm. And then when you need to really have the strength and ability to overcome this thing in front of you, you can't because the enemy has already weakened you in that area. Mm -hmm. Not knocking anybody at home. Amen. I said, I sure don't teach that kind of stuff because they're not in the Bible. They bits and pieces. They, yeah. they, <laughs> they piecemeal in you. Well, I believe the whole word. Genesis to Revelation. So don't 
allow the enemy to get you discouraged and depressed. Here's the remedy. Don't want to hear it. Since you got all this bad stuff coming up from the bad seed you sow, the way to overcome it is so so much good seed. Amen. That when the harvest comes in from the good seed, it overwhelms the bad. Amen. You follow what I'm saying? Amen. What do you mean by that? So if I made a debt of $100 a month, mm -hmm. I go out and do something that brings me in $1,000 a month, what is $100 a month? Amen. You follow what I'm saying? Amen. That's what I'm talking about. So you plant a seed. That's so good that it brings back a harvest that overwhelms what you that Amen. bad seed that comes in. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Another thing, like somebody said, well, what about my physical body? I live, I live so loosely and now I'm a healthy when I'm on it. You know how to overcome that? Praise. Amen. Live holy, live right, and live a life of praise. Amen. Right, because it keep you in the spirit. Amen. None of that sickness in all side of my mind. None of that is in your spirit. Amen. All that's in your flesh. Amen. Yeah. But if you stay in the spirit, Amen. you won't know nothing about what's going on in your flesh. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Look at neighbor say, stay in the spirit. Yeah. You want to experience the weakness of the flesh. Amen. 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 Lord. All right, tithes and offering belong to the Lord. Amen. And if you bring your tithes and offering, you're going to be cursed. But the Lord yes. said, where the man robbed God, and he said, it tithes and offering. Mm -hmm. And you are cursed with a curse. Amen. Not just cursed, but cursed with a curse. Yes. Yes. People understand why they, they, they don't understand why they can't get up for falling down. That's why. That's a curse with a curse. Mm -hmm. Falling down is bad enough. It's key. Every time you try to get up, you fall back down. That's Amen. a double curse. Amen. You know what I'm saying? So how you going to become that, Pastor? Bring me all the time. Oh, 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 oh. Bring me all the time. All the time. What do you mean, back time? Bring me all the time. Oh, Amen. That hurt. I know. A lot of folks ain't enough be to overcome. But they're not going to do what it takes. That's why you do right to start with. Amen. A house up, but that ain't Bible now. <laughs> this ain't Bible. What I'm about to say yeah. not Bible. I'm surprised you say God said, Pastor Carl said God said, I didn't say God said that. I'm telling you directly from straight up, it's not Bible. An ounce of repentance is better than a pound of keep on. Yes, Lord. That's what the folks said. Amen. Amen. Because, see, when you got to come back and, and, and make up a restitution, the Bible calls it make restitution. Yeah. When you got to come back and make restitution, it can cost you everything you got. <laughs> and a lot of folks are not going to pay it. Y'all understand that? A lot of people are looking at it and say, I can't do it. I'd rather suffer on out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello? But you know what? The suffer this on out means you go to hell. Amen. That suffering don't end. Mm Y'all -hmm. get that back. Mm -hmm. Some suffering you can live out and it's over with. Yep. But that suffering, that suffering from disobeying God, mm -hmm. you either repent and make it right, Amen. or you spend eternity in hell. Mm. On the lake of fire, but they're going to the lake of fire. Mm. Amen. So, what is the Bible fooling you? How you know all this? Because I've been to hell, been to heaven too. Mm. Been to heaven many times. Been to hell once. Ain't want to go back. Never want to go back. Somebody said, Never want to go back. Never want to go back. They can give me first class, I'm not going. <laughs> Third, fourth, fifth, sixth class, I'm not going. Amen. Hell is not for me. Amen. It was made for Satan and his ministers. Amen. Amen. His servants. Amen. 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 It wasn't made for you either. Mm -hmm. But if you serve the devil, mm -hmm. watch out. You are going then. So I'm, I'm encouraging you to <laughs> repent, bow your knee to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. stop playing games and get serious. Because mm -hmm. right. this is not a game. Everything God said done come to pass, being fulfilled right in front of your eyes. Mm -hmm. And I've been looking at it, just smiling, saying, Lord, I'm not going to say come get me right now because I'm just saying he was so come quickly. <laughs> That no flesh be saved, be saved. Amen. Amen. So just honor God with your first fruit of your increase and your substance. And he said, your bond will be filled with plenty of your present birth folk with new wine. Amen. Lord. In other words, that blood will be so overwhelming. None of that debt you got yourself in with mouth. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we're grateful and thankful for the privilege and opportunity to worship you in giving, the partnership with you in ministry. You said, give and it would be given unto us. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over men, and we're given our bosom. It is written, you are called all grace to bow to water us. That one that is cheerful and happy and giving. Mm -hmm. That they always have an all sufficiency. Thank you, Lord. In all things will abound to every good work. 
Father, we thank you. We praise you for the privilege and the honor to be your steward. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the revelation knowledge of being that steward mm -hmm. and what is required of a steward mm -hmm. to be faithful. And God, you are a good taskmaster. Mm -hmm. You said, come unto you and you will give us rest unto our soul. Yes, Lord. Your yoke is not, not uh, you said your yoke is easy, your burden is light. Your Thank yoke you. is not hard and your burden is not heavy. The way of a transgressor is hard. Oh. But they that serve you, Father, our feet are like hind feet. Will sit up upon our high places. I give you thanks. I give you praise. I give you glory for blessing your people that are willing and obedient. Mm -hmm. Father, I believe that there's a place in you that death can't touch us. Thank you, Lord. Sickness and disease can't put his mm -hmm. hand on us. Mm -hmm. I believe that this will begin a revelation in the lives of your people that they'll begin to reach and press toward that mark. That they'll no longer be subject to Thank the begging you. elements of this world, Thank but walk in the victory that is there in Christ mm -hmm. Jesus. Do you be all the honor? Do you be all the praise? Do you be all the glory? And Yeshua, Jesus of Nazareth, name I pray. And everyone that died, I'm saying, Father, Father, I have brought the holy thing out of my dwelling. I have not used it for any unclean, but have separated it unto you. Father, receive my tithe and all. Be glorified by them. Be glorified in them. Now, Father, you see, if I do this, you open unto me the windows of heaven and pour me out of it that I have not room enough to receive. I claim that window of heaven blessing. I declare an abundant provision and no lack, because I give, and it is given unto me. Good man, press down, shaking together, running over me, 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 after me. Get a laugh and excited over giving unto me. Thank you, Father. Thank you for faith. Thank you for the abundance of grace that caused me to give unto me. Thank you for your bountiful blessing in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you for bringing us out of the word of the Lord. Do it, John, glad in the heart. Put your offering in your head. Offering in your head. Gotten what you've been believing for, still continue to stretch for greater and higher things. Amen. Faith is a verb. It is what you do. Amen. When you stop acting on what you say you believe, it stops working. Amen. Somebody say, Well, I gave and my harvest didn't come. What you mean? It came. Yeah. Hello? Amen. Unless you just gave. 
But if you already gave them a while back, your heart has changed. Amen. 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 Now, somebody will say, well, ain't that devil hindered it. I'm, I'm moving to a place. And I told y'all I was on my way somewhere. I don't think like that anymore. Remember I told y'all that I taught you a little lesson on that, a little, a little lesson on that. And uh, the reason I don't think like that anymore because see during that period of time, man did not could not be born again. Amen. You follow? Amen. The enemy was still the Lord over mankind. Yep. And so in order to get something, God had to get something to man, he had to break through all the demonic forces to get to him. But you know what God did for the born again believer he didn't do for them? Oh, According to the word of God now. You don't believe what you want to believe, that's your problem, not mine. According to the word of God, the scripture actually tells us concerning the believer. Are you listening to me real close? That we that we that have been born again, huh? That have been made nigh by the blood of Jesus. According to six verses of the second chapter book of Ephesians, we've been raised up. With Christ. With him. And seated. Where? See, see, when the, the angel tried to get to Daniel, he was in he was in uh, Babylon, right? He he was in Iran, Iraq somewhere in there. Iraq. So the angel had to come from heaven to get into Iraq, right? Right. But the angel not come from heaven to get to me, because I'm already there. Heart to heart. That's why they didn't hit y'all. <laughs> you should have been up shouting. You should have been tearing that floor up because I wasn't talking about it. I told you the body of Christ. I told you that before I said it. Every born again believer have been raised up together with Christ Amen. and seated in heavenly places in him. Amen. So the angel now to get through the heavenly, whatever you want to call it, and the heavenly, they're blocking the angel from getting to Daniel. But they don't have to get through that. All they got to do is walk over to you. Amen. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Hello. Thank you, Hello. Thank you, yeah. I remember something. Uh, uh, probably you would angel said it, but I thought it was so unique. You would angel said that he had a vision, a revelation from God that Michael went to God. God said, who, okay, I, I, "I want to get something to that church, and uh, who can I get to go for me?" Michael came and said, "I go, Lord." He said, "How long will it take? What will it take me about ten minutes?" Not too long. Gabriel came and said, I go. He said, How long will it take? It'll take about five minutes. Too long. So I'm even done. Raphael came and said, I go. He said, How long will it take you? He said, It'll take about 20 seconds. That's too long. He said, I go. And he said, What you mean it's too long? He said, I'm, I'm going to take it because I'm already there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You know what y'all can't get that? Because you're still trying to pray something down, to fast something down, trying to make something happen. It already done. All you gotta do is take possession of it. The angel's already right there. Oh, yes, sir. What you got to It's already there. Amen. I sit all the time, I'm sitting in my new room and I'm looking at my angel. Many times I just look at David. Just standing there. And sometimes another one will come, he'd be stepping, and I look, he come in, I look at him, I say, Oh. What is it? For real. Thank you, Lord. I'll look at mine and I'll say, Why are you here? I'm for real. I look at y'all looking at me crazy. What you mean you see? I see. So I'll say, well, Why is he here? Amen. Amen. And then he'll say, Why is he here? Then he'll go. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Why are you looking at me funny? You know why spiritual things ain't real to a lot of people? I ain't talking about y'all now. Not real to a lot of people. The more time you spend with something, the more for me you become with it. The less time you spend with it, the less for me you are with it. You could be in the word, but not spiritual. Because in order for the word to become spiritual, you got to do what? Do it. Thank you. You got to become in the word. So a lot of people in the word, they study it like they study a, 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 a school book or something. But I don't study the word for living here, God. We walk. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It almost flowed me right there. I don't study. I don't study like I'm studying a school book. I'm studying like the instructions. Right. My life depends on it. I study the instructions. This is this is this is 
I'm gonna tell you what the, the, the grad one that what's the B I P L E name? Working pressure before leaving there. Uh, basic instructions before leaving earth. Amen. So I look at this as my basic instruction how to believe God. So I go in and find out how to believe God and I believe God in them. Amen. I never look at the Bible as if, and a lot of preachers, I'm going to say this to y'all, a lot of preachers, they study the word of God so that they can preach. I'm ready. They study the word of God so they can preach. They develop a message for you. I deliver one. Amen. Y'all didn't get that one. Amen. I deliver a message. God downloaded it into me and prepared me to deliver to you, and I bring it. Amen. That is a big difference. So when I speak to you, I speak as the oracle of God. If I can say that. A lot of folks can't do that because they, you know, it ain't nothing wrong the way they do it. That's what they got. But I'm, I'm a messenger of God. I'm not a, 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 a relay. Amen. Y'all know the relay is, right? <laughs> yeah, it's direct downward for me to be relay it come by somebody else. Amen. Amen. You can process and go by sermons. It's still God's word. <coughs> but it relay. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 You, you can be at home and your mama cook your meal and you cook yourself a meal. And that's direct, right? Mm -hmm. But you order by somebody else, that really. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought, Lord, that if I gave him that analogy, they'd be excited over this thing right now. Mm -hmm. They're just sitting there looking at me like, child, you mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You know the difference between having your mama cook your meal and you go order one from the store? Amen. Mm -hmm. Y'all know the difference? All good. <laughs> Which one is that? Straight off the stove. <laughs> Thank you. Amen. Ooh, nice to meet you. Mm. Yeah, right. You got a message for the mm -hmm. Yeah, bitch. I know that. Jesus. I'm going home already. <laughs> Sent me home already. Mm. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. Good job, I said. Jesus, keep us at the cross. Amen. We've been dealing with something that's been very powerful and pertinent to us. If I remember Wednesday night message. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. We got to turn the second chapter book of Hebrews. We got a situation going on in the church world now that uh, people are questioning what's going on in the world and what we're going to do. And I will say this, and I'm not doing, trying to be derogatory or mean or, or hard or cold to those that are babies. So, all you babies understand what Pastor Paul is saying is not to you. I want you to get that in your head. But when I say it, it will seem true. Adults don't ask the children what to do. No. Amen. They tell them. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. People have been in church. Right. People have been in church 10, 20, 30 years. And they ask themselves and the world what to do. No, we tell them what to do. See, they, we spoke to have the answer. Yeah. They don't have the answer. But that's not it's not that way. Y'all realize that, right? The enemy has somehow deceived. Con, trick us in the thinking that all this stuff in the Bible is future tense. There's some stuff in there that's future tense. But your rights and your privileges, I'm going to knock it down right there. Lord. Your rights and your privileges in God are not future tense. Somebody say now. Nah. Nah. Thank you, Lord. You know, y'all know that saying, y'all know y'all do. What part of now you don't understand? Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. There's nothing about that future tense. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start the night but there's nothing about that future tense. You understand? Know mm -hmm. I'm trying to cast on the path right let it down because he said he got no difference. <laughs> <laughs> he keep it, so I'm going to keep it. I'm going to ride, ride this one on out. <laughs> I'm going to suck up my feelings and go ahead and ride it on out. 
But we see Jesus mm -hmm. who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he by the grace of God should taste death for who? Oh. Jesus has taste death for who? Some people. Oh. That's sin and saint. So if Jesus already take death for all of us, Amen. what does that mean? Glory. I understand what that meant. I want to shout, but I, I hold back keeping up here to defend his message. But the king, him for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, and bringing many sons unto glory, he made the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. Okay. Now understand. Jesus never sinned, mm -hmm. but he was made perfect through his suffering, the thing that he went through. Because the day that lived God in Christ Jesus, the day that lived God in Christ will be self-persecution. Self Amen. 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 Jesus was the just for the unjust, yeah. the innocent for the guilty. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. He was persecuted, he was tormented, he was harassed for you. Amen. Y'all got it? Thank for you. Mm. So if, he, he would, if they did that to him, yeah. For you, then there should be an exemption for somebody somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. So that's already been paid. Thank you, Lord. Look, now I'm fin I'm finna help you out because I love to help people out. This don't happen automatically. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Just because he did it, don't mean you will just automatically get it. Yeah. You got to receive it. Amen. Amen. Did you hear what I just said? You got to receive it. So a lot of people that a lot of people around there go, they saved and they don't know, no, they ain't saved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, they can't be saved. Yeah. Salvation provided for them. But they hadn't got it yet because saved means delivered. Amen. So if they're still living in sin, still practicing sin, they hadn't been delivered yet. Amen. Hello. Yeah. So why are you telling a person that's smoking, snorting, shooting, popping, sniffing? You say, mm -hmm. he ain't staying saved. You don't get it like that. Amen. You got to repent first. Amen. Then believe. Amen. Hello, Amen. Somebody. Amen. You got to turn from your sins and act on your faith. Yeah. Amen. When God called you out of sin, turn. Amen. Turn to what sin? Turn to God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And when Amen. you turn to God, that repent. Now turn to God, that repent. Mm -hmm. And when you come to him, that's acting on your faith, and then he will deliver you. Hallelujah. Now watch it. Now watch it. This 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 verse, this verse right here should deliver everybody. Up in here. For both he that sanctify and they that are sanctified are all of one. Mm. What? He that sanctify and they who are sanctified are all of one. Hallelujah. You get it. You get it. When God sanctified you, saints, separated you from the world and then himself. You are of God just as much as Jesus is. Amen. Thank you. I believe you that do a righteousness, righteousness, even as he is righteous. You are just as much of God as he is. Now, if you can focus and get your mind off your own frailty and weakness and shortcomings and think about him, mm. think about him, what just happened to your limitations? No. Mm. Oh. There are none. Lord. Philippians 4 and 13. I can do. Well, you can do all things through Christ. And I'm going to have to do your adage again. What part of all you don't understand? Amen. Mm -hmm. Anything necessary to be done, you can do it through Christ. Thank you. Got it in? Got it in? Got it. Oh, you got it. All right, so he goes on to say, mm -hmm. saying, I will declare your name unto my brethren. In the midst of the church will I sing praise unto thee. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, behold, I and the children which God has given me. Yeah. That's Jesus talking. Now watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Because it, see, you ain't going to come and restore things in your life until you realize you got a right. Mm. Hello? Amen. And we, we started dealing with that a few weeks ago. And it seemed like folks, we got, you got a right. Right? Amen. Healing is the children's right. 
Lord. 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 Thank you. You understand what? If you're a child of God, mm. healing is your right. right. You're trying to twist God's arm, pull his arm, I don't know what else, to get him to heal you. And he already told you by his stripes you were healed. Word. The problem not God, you need, you're not embracing it. Amen. 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 By his stripes you were. Embrace Amen. your healing. Amen. 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 I don't be talking, just be talking about it. Thank you, Lord. Oh, for as much as then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same. That was Jesus came in the flesh. Mm -hmm. uh, conceived by the Holy Ghost in the womb of the Virgin Mary, born and lived on this earth 33 and a half years in the flesh. Delivered up by the hand of Pilate, crucified and buried, descended the lower parts of the earth, was raised from the dead on the third day by the power of the Holy Ghost, appeared to many men for many days. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards he was caught up in the heaven bodily. <laughs> Even in a Galilee, <clears throat> why stand here gazing up into the heavens? This same Jesus, whom you see him taken up before you, shall come again in like manner. Amen. He went bodily up into the heaven. And Paul said, Now he's seated on the right hand of the majesty on high, where he ever lived to make intercession for us. Yes, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Our high priest. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Hallelujah. That one that you call Jesus, Mary <clears throat> David, mm -hmm. uh, took the flesh because you were flesh. Yeah. Same. So understand what I'm trying to tell you. He became you. Mm. <laughs> so you could become him. Mm -hmm. Look at the neighbor, tell him what I just said. <laughs> Give him a name so they know who you're talking about. <laughs> Jesus became you. So that you could become him. And I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it in a way you can hear. Thank you. God became man, Amen. so man to become God. Amen. Yeah. Lord. Mm -hmm. I just messed up a whole lot of people's theology, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, watch. Let me finish this. So he uh, he began, but took a flesh and blood. He also himself likewise departed the same. That through what death he might what destroy him. That had the power of death, that is the devil. So when did Jesus destroy the one that had the power of death? When he died on the cross. When did he destroy him? When he, died, he went took a flesh and blood and through death he could destroy him. So when did Jesus die? Two thousand and some odd years ago. How many years ago? Two thousand and twenty-two years ago. Yeah. Jesus died on the cross. Yeah. So when was that process that had the power of death destroyed? <laughs> 2022 years ago. 2022. Yeah. yeah. 20, I'm going to show you how pertinent and how real God is. I told you, remember I told you God said something about that 2022 number? The other day. I said, oh, yeah. last week, yeah. 20, 22. 22. The blessing draw. Thank you, God. Thank you. Oh, I'm for real. I ain't lying. Yeah. I'm exaggerating. I ain't stretching it at all. I told y'all God bless me. And not only bless me, but he blessed my brothers. The blessing drop. Yeah. Correct. What happened? God kept his word. Amen. Glory. Showing me that if he's doing it now, he did it then. Amen. What he said then is just pregnant then, now as it was then. He never changed. That was somebody. So he destroyed the devil that had the power of death. So y'all know what I'm believing? That devil ain't got no power over me. Amen. That I got power over death. Amen. He called them his twelve disciples to give him power against unclean spirits to cast them out, heal all manner of sickness and disease. And later on, he said, "Freely I have freely, freely I have received, so freely give." The whole preach, saying that the kingdom of God is coming. Yeah. Heal the sick, cast out devils, cleanse the leper, raise the dead. Amen. And they had not been born again. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus had not went to hell and beat the devil up. 
yet. Amen. But yet they have power they have over the power devil. Over the devil. <laughs> so he betook of flesh and blood that through death he destroyed him that had the power there. Now watch that day, verse. See, I know it's connected up because a lot of that semicolon at the end of that word, a lot of people don't get this because they're passing them, preaching them, them watered down, sugar coated, blue John messages. Now you run up on a few around the world like me that just stand fat foot saying, just say the Lord. Amen. But they're rare. Mm -hmm. Especially among us. Well. So, they're rare. So 90% of our people bent over and took the jab. That's it. The snake venom. Mm -hmm. Because then their overseer didn't have the insight, the foresight, to even study to understand how medically that worked mm -hmm. and also what was spiritual behind it. Amen. Amen. Pastors have to not be just mm -hmm. knowledgeable of one thing. You gotta be knowledgeable. You gotta be like the Father Paul. We fell not to declare the whole council of God. The whole yes, council. Amen. Not part of it, the whole council. Amen. 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 Now watch this now. This is you. And deliver them who through fear of them. Mm -hmm. Why are the enemy still running to rough shot over people like fear of them? Fear. Mm -hmm. All right. Now <laughs> fourth chapter from the first epistle of John. Mm -hmm. Bear with me. Fourth chapter of the first epistle of John. Bear with me. I'm thinking babies. Uh, I can sense babies. Amen. I love babies. Amen. Spiritually or physically, I love them. Amen. In my heart. So I got to be, I got to be very deliberate and slowly with this. Because they need to see this. So this is the thing that a lot of people don't need. What pastor? You'll see them. I'm going to start the 15th verse. I'm going to start the 16th, but let's start the 15th verse. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him, and he in God. Is that what you say? Amen. So if you know that Jesus is the Son of God, and you bow your knees and Lordship, God's in you, and you in God. Amen. And we have known and believed the love that God has to us. God is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Now, my thing is, since I'm going to hit that word about God being love, if I love you and don't do nothing to help you, how is that love? Because love. love seeks not his own. Thank you. Love is really a willingness to give up oneself on behalf of another, expecting nothing in return. Amen. So if I know this thing is killing you, then I'm going to help you get free from it. But if I don't help you get free from it, how do I love you? You know? Friends don't let friends drive drunk. Amen. The world said that. Yeah. The world said if your friend is drunk, you will make sure that they don't do something to hurt themselves. Right. Because you're their friend. Yeah. But then the world turned around and said God can love you and still let you live like the devil and die and go to hell. No. That's a lie. Yeah. Yeah. Not, so. Not so. That is a that is a duplicity contradictory statement when they say that and they just told you friends don't let friends That's it. Yeah. let you know that love will keep you from hurting yourself Amen. thank you so all across YouTube and Facebook amen amen so you understand that a lot of stuff they're doing is duplicit they're telling you one thing and then on the other side they might tell you something else mm -hmm. So that means they got ulterior motive. That's right. When you see people talking like that, their motive is not pure. Amen. Mm. Mm. John Baptist Paul said, so I'm coming to you. Amen. 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 So he said, watch this, watch this. So he said, here it. He that dwells in love, dwells in God, and God in him. Herein is our love made perfect, some people, that we may have boldness. When your love is perfect, you can have boldness. Amen. In the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in the world. Did y'all see that? Did I make that up? Nope. No. I'm going to read one more time. I'm going to see if anybody will catch it. Herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. judgment. Because as he is, so are, we. so are we in this world. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, I, I know some people right now is going over their mind what I just said, and it seems like just can't get through. No, that, that, that religious stronghold in you. I command it to be broken up right now right. in the name of Jesus. May this hammer of God's word break through it. 
I'll read it one more time. Hello? Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. So how are you in this world? Just like Jesus. Amen. You see me, you see him. You hear me, you hear him. And him that sent me. Why well, did why well, did why well, did there is no fear in love. You know why you're afraid? You don't have no love in your heart. Why couldn't I? Why did I didn't say it. I'm not making this up. That's why I won't take time reading it. But perfect love casts out fear. Now watch this. That's why I'm going. Because fear has what? Torment. Fear has what? Torment. You know, Job was perfect and upright in what he knew. You read that third left, 12, somewhere down in verse, of the third chapter of the book of Job, you're going to find out why that stuff happened to Job. Yeah. Fear. <laughs> that thing he was afraid of, that thing which he feared came upon him. What did the Bible say about it? There is no fear in love. Amen. Your fear is in your heart, what that mean? No love. He that fear is not made perfect in love. So Job was not made perfect in love. That's why the enemy was able to get to him. Amen. Woo! Yes, mm. Lord. Hello, you can't go back to the Old Testament people living before the blood of Jesus was shed mm -hmm. and question about what's going on in their lives and say that pertains to you too. Amen. The devil's lying to you. Thank you. We have at Osa. Thank you, Lord. Glory Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank Thank you, Lord. 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 <laughs> and they say, I got an accent. In the old covenant, only the priests and the prophets and the king that had accent. People didn't have accents. The new covenant. But under the new covenant, <laughs> the veil has been rent. God moved out of that temple. Yeah. And moved into the hearts of his children. But then they would say, I have accent. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Amen. You give God away, Father. Come on, rejoice. Come on, give Him thanks. And I shouldn't be able to tell you that. Come on, give Him thanks. Amen. Thank all you, Lord. Because of the precious shed blood of Jesus. Amen. All because He did it. He took our place. Amen. He became sin. Amen. 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 Well, you're not keeping commandments, the love of God will affect you. Right. If you're not keeping commandments, the love ain't perfected in you. Amen. But what did you say about that fear? Don't be in that word. Fear have what? Fear have what? Torment. Torment. So if you've been tormented, you've been oppressed, you've been vexed, you, you go on through all the time and can't get the victory over something, what that means? No love. Don't be running around trying to figure it out. You're not walking in love. Amen. God said to love you with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And then do what? Love yourself. You know a lot of these erroneous preachers and people be telling folks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't love your neighbor unless you love yourself. That's a lie. Amen. Hello. Mm -hmm. You know why they tell you that? Because at the end of it, try to stop you from loving your neighbor. Amen. Jesus said, "Love your neighbor." As yourself, and I'm going to give you a better definition of what he was saying, instead of yourself. Amen. Mm. Well, Amen. Look not on your own welfare, but the welfare of another. I didn't bring it to my day work. Look not on your well, own well being, but the well being of another. Amen. So, in other words, be more concerned about somebody else doing better than you being concerned about yourself doing better. I love this thing, and I heard, I can't remember, I got it. What good thing be happening to somebody else? What happened to you? Yeah. It's called common. <laughs> it's called seed time and harvest. It's called reaping and sowing. It's called the law of cause and effect. The law of reciprocity. Hello, somebody. Amen. 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 So if you practice that, boy, you make all the stuff start happening. Every time you look around, lesson just overtake it. Amen. Running you down. Amen. All of a sudden, you feel something grabbing you. Look back at the blessing. Amen. Thank you, Lord. 
Yeah. Go to your house, a blessing waiting on you. Yeah. Get up in the morning, a blessing waiting on you. Yeah. Go to work, a blessing waiting on you. Yeah. You can't turn around without a blessing waiting on you. Yeah. Why? Because I sold seeds of blessings. There's a place in the Word of God that said, uh, Reaper, go overtake the soul. Yeah. Run me down. Yes, sir. Down. Running me down. Everywhere I turn, I'm blessed. Oh, yes. Bless them for coming in. Bless them for going out. Bless them for down. Bless them for uprising. I can't do nothing without getting blessed. Amen. Why, Pastor? Because I walk in love toward other people. Amen. Do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. Not as they do to you, but as you would have them do unto you. Why did Jesus say that? Because you will set a law in motion. Amen. They will call people to do to you what you do to them. Amen. 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 Remember when I told you you can do so much good that your good will overwhelm your bad. Amen. Hallelujah. The enemy attacked me, and I'm going to say it, I don't mind testifying. The enemy attacked me in a way that wasn't right, wasn't fair, and I'm not going to accept it. That's why I won't do what I can do. Amen. The Lord blessed me. I can go get another one if I wanted to. Amen. And I'm not talking about sign or papers either. Right. Except for you get the name transferred. That's right. Amen. But I choose not to. Because I want to do something else. Amen. So I'm not accepting the lie Amen. that the devil stole with me. Amen. So what happened? My good deeds brought a blessing so overwhelming Amen. that what the devil tried to do to me, it didn't really matter. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hey, stand up and sit back. Thank you. I don't care y'all. Thank you. Hallelujah. Didn't matter. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So that's what happens when you start, you become a person that is sowing all the time. Amen. Even if they even try something, mm -hmm. they just overshadow. Amen. 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 We Amen. like it ain't never happened. Amen. That's what the Bible said. It was no I to read. Yes. Did that really happen? Mm -hmm. Amen. So many people spend so much time worried about the bad. Mm -hmm. No, focus on the good. Right. Make good things happen for other folk. Amen. Keep it, keep doing it. Amen. I remember, I don't have to say it, I have to give on the one to do it. I'm not calling the name woman because I don't want their blessing to be stolen. But ever since this brother came back to my life, never have I met him one time. Not one single time since I met him, Amen. since he came back to my life, he ain't done said. Amen. Now, I don't have people in the house that do that. But this brother from, I mean, I mean, you know, long time missing. Yep. Show back up and didn't show up with nothing. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. Somebody said, we ain't get that one because it's in the Bible. Amen. 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 So you, so you supposed to minister to those that minister your spiritual needs. Amen. Don't you understand that? Amen. But some people don't understand that because they're too full of fear. Amen. Fear. Oh. That they're full of love. Love seeks not his own. But they fear. They're afraid. But they're afraid that they're going to lose something. Mm. Y'all didn't hear Amen. Do you know, I'm going to say this. Y'all might say, Pastor Carl, you need to talk. I'm not talking about the Holy Ghost. Mm. You invest in me. That's right. That's better than investing in the bank. Amen. Amen. You guarantee. Amen. Amen. We're not here to say, you guarantee. Yeah. 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 I'm rich. But when, when you, listen, 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 let me tell y'all something. Don't slow your harvest down. Amen. You can do that. Don't do it. Do it with joy. Amen. Amen. When you plant that seed, do it with joy. Amen. When you do it with joy, you release that harvest to come back and speed of it. Amen. Or you do it gradually, you slow down your blessing. <laughs> it's coming. Look down the street. Way down there, it's inching. Oh, <laughs> slow truck. <laughs> you can say, come on, come on. It's inching. <laughs> That's not how you speed it up. Praise you. You no. slow. God loves the what? Chill. And what did I tell y'all that mean? A prompt to do you. Somebody's quick to give. So God told you last week that you ain't given yet. So what does that mean? When you finally give it, look, look where it's coming. Look where down the street. Here comes your harvest. 
<laughs> you gotta be quicker than that. Oh Lord, thank you, Lord. I'm ready. <laughs> Look down the street, cause it's coming, cause God said it. Don't nerve your door, see time and hour should not see, but it's slow. Yeah, Lord. Yes, <laughs> you know <what> <laughs> Cause you were slow. Mm -hmm. If you <laughs> I'm telling you, spiritual things, you better learn. That's right. Or you old head that got stuck in your ways, that's why you dried up and died. Because you refuse to learn. You can't teach your old dog new tricks. They can say their minds are thoroughly mixed and well set, just like semen. Amen. Setting their wings. Can't get it. Amen. Hallelujah. Violet. <laughs> but fear Amen. cripples us. Amen. Fear blocks us. Amen. Fear weakens us. Amen. Fear dulls our thinking. Amen. Get the fear out. Amen. 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 Then you can boldly say without reservation and hesitation, I'm healed. Amen. I'm blessed. Amen. I'm strong. Amen. Amen. You can boldly say, oh, no, devil, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. I'm redeemed. Amen. I'm delivered. Amen. 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 You can boldly stand and hope, no, this is my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I'm the salt. Yeah. I'm the light. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. I deserve this neighborhood. Amen. I have oversight here. Amen. Take your stuff and get out. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Somebody say, whatever don't call down fire. Amen. What'd you say? Call down fire. Amen. That, that has to take fire on you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. If you like me, know that you 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 got access. Watch out. Look at you got another wave off now. Thank you, Jesus. Look at that they say, remember. Remember. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Faith in his blood. Faith in his blood. Have made you nigh. Have made you nigh. Under God. Under God. Access. Amen. Whoa. I got access. So if, you, if your car break down on the side of the road somewhere, if you ain't got no access, get no help, look at God and say, I got access. Amen. You got angels. Amen. 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 May the minister spiritually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Lord. I thought my children was going to right say it. Because he made those angels ministering spirits for you. Amen. Mm. They to serve you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. So you can say, Lord, send me an angel. Mm -hmm. I struck on the side of the road. Mm -hmm. No signal. Mm -hmm. Phone on. No access. Mm -hmm. I'm real. Started up the hill, transmission went out. Mm -hmm. Pulled on the side of the road. Still flagging. Mm -hmm. Pulled my handkerchief out. Mm -hmm. Sitting on the back of the car. Flagging. <laughs> shoot. <laughs> shoot. <laughs> shoot. Shoot, mm -hmm. shoot. I said, Lord, I know somebody, somebody passing me. Like, all these cars passing. Somebody was a Christian. Why didn't my brother or sister? Why don't they stop? <laughs> yeah. I said, Lord, have mercy. I said, I'm going to get this car. I'm going to go sit down in this car. And I'm going to lay back and get, get up in the morning and walk in the sun's day. Mm -hmm. By the time I laid back, I said, I'm going to trust you guys in your hands. I ain't worried about that. Yeah. By the time I laid back, I saw a truck pulling up. He stopped. He said, you all right? I said, no, I'm a transmission where I go up this hill. He pulled over. He said, I know a guy for the record. He said, where you from? I told him. He said, you think you take me? He said, yeah, I know. Let me let call. I get in the car. He got a fifth of bill sitting in the middle of the seat. Look at the car. 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 Loving his neighbor more than my brother and sister. Right. He don't even know he's a man his house cat. I could be playing a trick to rob him. Pastor got next time. I'm talking about one of my light skinned brothers. I ain't talking about no dark right. skin. Right. <laughs> you know? wasn't scared? No, why? I got love in my heart. Yeah. <laughs> I got it, then he drove me on down there. We talked to the guy. He said, Yeah, I got you. So he, the guy took me back to the car. He said, You'll be up. He told me, Come, he come. So I went got back in the car. Now, I forgot, here come that big four bro, packing up. Mm -hmm. I get it. He brought me all the way from way over on the other side of society here, all the way back home. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. 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 Amen
What is good? Good. He sent that angel. What a fearful beer. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, you trust God, put your hands, your life in the hands of God, and no matter what happens, I don't care where you at, I don't care if you're stranded, trust God. Yes, trust God, God was in heaven. Amen. I'll never forget when we had the church we went through therapy at that time. The bus we brought us the bus, we rolled them the bus, both got in the face. Y'all remember that? Yep. And God sent that angel in that red truck, didn't he? Yep. Amen. Took me out there. God worked the miracle. We found what we needed, brought it back. That was somebody. Amen. Put it on the bus, went on the chair, we came back home. <laughs> Yes, Lord. You got it good. Y'all are going to be funny. Yeah. See, when you get the fear out. Yeah. See, I always say that I'm going to keep on saying that you'll find somebody get, get it. The and they decide out. to get the fear out. See, faith and fear are the same thing. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. It's one side. It's, one, it's the opposite side of the other side. The other corner. Mm -hmm. See, but we get well, we we get it. We get this sort of money thing. And we look at it. Y'all have seen the money, right? Mm -hmm. We call it here as a tail, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's faith and fear. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So I can flip the coin, right? Yep. And by chance, it might fall on his. Mm -hmm. By chance, it may fall on the tail, right? All I got to do is keep God's commandments, and faith will always be in my heart. Amen. It will always work. Mm -hmm. Amen. Like, did y'all get it? Because fear will do what? Flip. Flip. That's right. Yes, sir. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. when, I, when I was under attack a couple years ago, and, and everybody thought I was going to die. Mm -hmm. ah, you know what? I care about that. Yeah. So, <laughs> why didn't couldn't take you out, pal? Because it wasn't my time to go. Time, man. God was mm. Do you care if you had to win or stay? Well, I had to quit asking to go <laughs> years ago. God knows. So, I didn't ask to go. I just say, well, Lord, thy will be done. Mm -hmm. And how can you just lay there and be at peace? Because I knew what God's will was. Amen. For me to get up out and go on. Amen. Amen. Not that. that was God's will for me. So you had that kind of confidence? Yes. Why you had that kind of confidence? Because I knew some years ago God told me to talk about coming home. Mm -hmm. Because I had something to do. Mm -hmm. And I never been afraid of dying. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I come from the I got saved. Amen. I love people. Period. Amen. I don't hate nobody. I don't care who's crazy. I got something to say to me, I'm going to say it. Amen. <laughs> Amen. People that know me know that. <laughs> I got Amen. something to say to you, I'm going to say it, baby. Amen. I don't care about right nothing in me. Amen. I'm free. Amen. So when I speak, I can speak. Amen. But you know, people got fear in their hearts, so they're afraid to talk to people. You know, and let people know you hurt my feelings. You did this and you did that. Um, they, don't, they, they don't want to keep it bold and ball up on the inside. Get them built. Get them built. Full of hatred. Sitting there praying, God go get him. I don't want God to get him that way. I do want him to get him saved. Amen. Amen. Like, hello. Because the reality of it is, if, they, if he get them, they die for what they did to me, they're going to hell. Amen. I don't want nobody in hell. I want to empty hell. Amen. I don't want to fill it up. People go to hell, they're going against my will. Amen. 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 Look at they say, people go to hell in my life. Be careful how you say this now. They're going to get my wheel. I mean, I don't have a desire at all. If anybody go to hell, want everybody around me. I want everybody around me. Say, I want everybody around me. Amen. I want everybody with me going in the rapture. Amen. 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 So everybody around me, I, I say this all the time, I say, we're in two mile radius of me, the devil will be driven out of everybody around me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That when I show up, I mean, that's a moving radius. Y'all know that, right? Yep. Because mm -hmm. I'm moving. Mm -hmm. That's why I believe in God's love. That the presence of God in my life will be so strong that when a two mile radius, Satan can't be nowhere, the demons can't be nowhere. Thank right? you, Lord. So that means I'm moving, they're moving. They're being driven out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Greater than these. That's right. Shall you do? Right. Amen. 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 So I'm looking for a whole neighborhood to start getting to the Thank you, Lord. city when I come in. I'm traveling out of that city, that they'll be driven out. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you come out with loud voices. Don't make them do it. Don't be going. They can be howling and screaming, growling, whatever. Leave. 
But that don't scare me. Hallelujah. Leave somebody. You know, as soon as the devil starts cutting up, people get scared. Lord. Why? Mm-hmm. Y'all remember that 14th verse? Mm-hmm. Second chapter of Hebrews? Mm-hmm. What happened to the devil? Ooh. Jesus destroyed him. Mm-hmm. So what is he doing when he do that? Mm-hmm. When he growling and hollering and screaming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, if you understand, once you get that fear out, let me give you a, 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 a breakdown. Maybe you see what they want to call it. Your spirit man is what we call the heart. Mm-hmm. Now that all pumping in your chest. Mm-hmm. Right? Amen. People always talking about, you don't know my heart. You're talking about your spirit man. Amen. Jesus said, out of the abundance of the heart, the, mouth the spirit man, the mouth speaker. So what's coming out of your mouth is coming out of your spirit, man. That's right. Right? right. Fear is not in your head. Nope. In your heart. Fear is in your spirit. spirit. Mm-hmm. You got what I'm saying? That's right. So if fear get in your spirit, what has it done? Ooh. It's often what's going to come out your mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Bible says you have what you say, right? Yep. Yeah. So if the altar was coming out of your mouth, if you confessing that this is not going to work out, no, no. If you confess that this gonna fail, if you confess I'm gonna never be a big deal, you confess I'm always being dead, you confess I always be sick, and you confess I always have diabetes, mm-hmm. and you confess I always have autism, mm-hmm. you confess that ain't nothing ever working out for me. That fear talking out of you, what I told y'all, faith fear is the opposite of faith. So fear is nothing but faith in reverse. So all you're doing is believe of all that stuff you just said. If if your fear work, your faith. Uh, Mm. If your fear works, your faith can work. Thank you. I'm going home. Thank you. Lord. It sets you free and you still send it. Jesus, keep it the cross. Thank you. Look what your fear has done to you. But if your fear did this to you, how much more can your faith do for you? Glory! Thank you, Lord. Mm-hmm. Your fear got you grumbling and mumbling and complaining and grabbing about everything. Yeah. You walk into any place, I don't care where it's at, if there's no other believer in there, you have to be authority there. Amen. Thank you. Whatever goes on up in there while you're there, you allow it. That's it. I didn't allow. Amen. Did y'all hear what I just said? If you don't want to believe up in that, you're the absolute authority in that place. Did I say what place? No. That means even in the courtroom. I was in the courtroom some years ago, back in the 80s. I believe the 80s, might have been the late 70s, down in Florence, South Carolina, in the federal court. My uh, Some people I know, family members, were down there, going up, I'd bring them down there for, uh, for a trial. They were being chosen the jury. I was sitting in the audience waiting. You know, I didn't they serve in that box and they be choosing me. I was sitting out in the audience waiting for the finish. And I was praying that the thing would be thrown out of court and there wouldn't be nobody Jewish people. Amen. Amen. They had a whole roster. So I'm sitting there praying. It's like the power of God was just bubbling up in me. Look. Almost like a pump. Come back, devil now. 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 Come back, devil. All y'all go home. All the kids have been solved out before. What happened, Pastor Clark? Blessed are the peacemakers. But they shall be called the children of God. I was sitting up in there making peace. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So y'all think that miracles and stuff start happening around me since I come here. I know they've been going on long before I came here. Mm-hmm. That's why I never changed, because I know God's real. God does what he says. Right. He will not change. He's, he cannot change. He probably doesn't change. He's God. Amen. Amen. So stop using your faith as fear. Get the whatever it is calling you to not love like you pulled you out. Mm-hmm. Start loving, and your faith will start working. Yeah. And when your faith starts working, I don't care where you at. Always remember, if you don't only believe in that, Amen. that means you ain't got to get nobody to agree with you. Amen. I'm still sitting here looking at you. If you're the only believer sitting up in there, you don't have to get nobody to agree with you. No, I got that. You got the absolute authority that you yeah. have said. Thank you. So whatever you say and believe for it can happen. Yeah. 
Every spirit of disease, and I command yeah. to leave these people. Thank you, Lord. They don't want to be here right now. Yeah. And you sit there, mm, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory Amen. to God. One by one, if I get to leave. Amen. Nurses come back out and say, Where about it? Oh, they all got healed. Well, who, who, who treated them? Jesus. Amen. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. You know why y'all can't get this like I'm getting it? Lord. Release. Oh, One day in the sweet bye. That's release. We yes. shall meet at the view of you. Mm. I'm already there. <laughs> you may show up one day in the sweet bye, and bye but I'm already there. Woo! And here too. Amen. 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 That's right. So get out of that mindset. Amen. Somebody say lose it. Lose it. As, As he is, is. So are we in the earth. earth. So how is he? See the Lord right have the badge on how? Far above. Far So if he far above all in heaven, I'm far above all in earth. What I say go. Amen. Unless the other believers disagree with me, then we got to get on one goal. Mm-hmm. Reason why a lot of stuff don't happen up in here because we don't want to go. Amen. Y'all got to want to call me everything we got. I'm for real. I'm, I got I got a strong belief. Mm-hmm. A strong belief, and I'm going to close in the 18th chapter of Matthew in the 19th verse. Thank you, Lord. Unshakable. Unshakable. Y'all heard me say it many times. Woo! Glory. All the refer to this. I say, you know what? Husband and wives ought to have this down pat. Yes, Lord. So anybody ought to be on in perfect grief and perfect harmony. That'll be a husband and a wife. All right. right. Amen. Mm-hmm. Am I all right about you? Amen. Amen. If y'all in agreement, you need some counsel. Yeah, I need to say that one more time. If husband and wife ain't in agreement, you need counsel. All right. Jesus said that 19 verses in red. Listen up, brother. Jesus said this. The Lord of the Lord and the King of Kings said this. The Lord of the Lord and the King of Glory said this. Again, I say unto you, I'm just sharing that this is a nugget now. You, you can tack this into that, but this is a nugget. Yep. Right. If two of you shall agree on earth at touching anything that they shall ask, yeah. what? it shall be done of them, done. of my Father, which is in heaven. What yeah. is that if any two of you touch and agree, agree yeah. about anything you ask, yeah. it shall be, done shall be done by our Father, which is in heaven. Hallelujah. I'll be your two. What is it that you want God to do? Thank you. I'll be your two. Thank you. Woo! What do you want God to do? Get it in your heart and mind right now. You two faithful, get in your heart and mind right now. I'll be your two. If you can believe for it, I believe with you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Don't be reaching out something you can't believe for, though, and expect me to believe with you, because I can believe it be done, and it not be done unless you are a believer. Now, if you are a believer, then you bow down and say, I know God will hear you, but won't hear me. But he'll hear you. Then it'll work. It'll work. So that gives me authority. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. But if you believe, you got to agree. Whatever it is you ask God for right now, whatever you want God to do for you right now, whatever it is at the sound of my voice, wherever it is, get it in your heart and your mind right now. I want you to whisper it out to the Lord. Do it right now. Whisper it out to the Lord. Don't want to say it out loud anybody here. Whisper it. I want it to come out your mouth. Say it out your mouth. In the name of Jesus. Father, whatever it was that they just spoke before you, and if in line with your will and your word, and not against your will and your word, I set my faith in agreement with me. Yes. That in the name of your surely Messiah, right. in the name of you, the God of Adam, the God of self, right. the God of Enoch, the God of Methuselah, the God of Noah, 
you the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In the name of Yah, Yeshua and Shekhan, I decree it is so. The need is met, the body is healed, the infirmity is gone, the children are getting delivered and saved in the name of Yeshua. Lord, favor is given right now. There won't be another no, but a yes and an amen. And everyone said in Jesus' name, amen. 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 That means so be it. Thank you, Lord. It is so. Hallelujah. It is so. Thank you, Lord. It is. So. Amen. Hallelujah. Once you get the fear out, there's no reason I showed you Jesus already destroyed the devil. Once you get the fear out, then your word will work. But you say, because he said, Verily I say to you, whosoever shall say to this mountain, mm -hmm. be removed, be cast into the sea, shall not doubt in all. But believe the whole thing that they say as it come to pass, believe the whole thing that they say as it come to pass, believe the whole thing that they say as it come to pass. You, what you believe, you see on a continual basis. Hello? I say what God says about me on a continual basis. Because that's what I believe. What you believe, you're going to see on a continual basis. I want someone. You'll say it all the time. Under stress or not under stress. Amen. Under pressure or not under pressure. Amen. Hello? <laughs> Amen. 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 You're going to say what God said about you. Amen. You know, they say, with a real so and so stand up. <laughs> under pressure, the real you will stand up. Yes. But under pressure, not under pressure, I think what God said about me. Because I know it's so. I found out David said it's a shield in the buckle. So even when you're not under pressure, you keep that shield up. Amen. Amen. That means say what God said about you 24, 17, yes, 65 right. days a year. What's coming out of your mouth? God said. Thank Just you. say the Lord. Because God said He made you that. So why doubt what God said? Doubt the doubts and believe the beliefs. Believe. Doubt you. the devil and believe God. Amen. I can do. Amen. 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 People aren't right thinking the only way that they can become rich is to do it the way it works. So you can uh, mm, mm, mm. The blessings of the Lord make rich. Thank you, Lord. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> Amen. Amen. If you get blessed Woo! by the Lord, it don't matter. Everything you touch will turn to gold. Thank you. The blessing. That's all you need. The blessing which is the empowerment to prosper. Amen. Deuteronomy 8 18 says what? <laughs> you shall remember. Thou shalt not forget. Forget. You shall Lord. remember. Huh? That in the Lord your God that giveth you the power to get well. To establish his covenant a purpose uh, in the earth. <laughs> when you swore to our fathers. Mm -hmm. God didn't bless you to get rich so you can ride into it. And ride around the road roars like a big shot. I never understood it, but if you got that kind of money, you want to ride the road while driving. But if you make a payment, you ain't got that kind of money. <laughs> uh, you, what I just, you got a lease it, you ain't got that kind of money. You're wasting God's money. Amen. Amen. Go get you a car you can afford to pay for. Amen. And plant that other money in God's kingdom. Amen. And one day you'll be in a place where you go walk to a porch dealership. Walk and say, I like that one right there. Mm. He said, uh, how much you got to put down on? Did I say anything about making a down payment? Amen. <laughs> What's your bottom line? Amen. 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 What you mean by that, Pastor? I'm going to pay cash for it. Amen. Come in, I ain't coming to the bar. I want to know your bottom line. What's the lease you going to take for that cup? All right. Amen. 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 You, see, you, got a, you know, I'm going to tell you all about something. I'm going to leave you alone because I don't have one. And I chose not to get one. They offered me one, but I didn't want it because they're dangerous. They got a car they call a black car. Y'all heard of that? Y'all know what that is, right? How many of y'all know what a black car is? <laughs> Y'all heard of it? It's unlimited. It's unlimited. That means you can buy whatever you want. A business corporation, whatever. Mm -hmm. That's one of the cars that won't be in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how you get off it? You ask the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I've always been recognized for some reason. I think that's why. They see that connection. Amen. Unlimited wealth. Thank you. You know, I'm watching the movie one time. It's unlimited power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got unlimited access. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Lord. 
Hallelujah. Uh, receive your blessing, and you did. Don't go out here and doubt it. Remember what you say is coming to pass. Say what you want. Amen. Don't say what you don't want. Amen. Hello? Amen. You don't want to be sick, don't confess it. Amen. Confess what help. Amen. You want to be broke, don't ever say you're broke. Amen. Somebody asks you to give them something, don't say you ain't got nothing. Amen. Amen. What do you say if somebody asks you something you don't want to give them? It's not in my possession at this time. What? So you don't want to give it to them. If somebody asks you for something, you don't want to give it to them, what do you say? You don't have anything? No, no. you ain't giving just anything. You don't bet you ain't going to never have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> don't you dare say that. All right. Hello? So I'm sorry, I can't help you. Don't you say sorry, I can't help you. That's right. Amen. Be real. I ain't got nothing. <laughs> what if you want to have too? <laughs> Don't get that. Broke and real. Your boxes will have holes in it. Your bank account will have holes in it. Everything you got will have holes in it. Stop saying that. Speaking of the truth, I have the spirit. Yeah. I have, but I don't want to give. I can't help you. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's it. Period. Can't help you. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think they might get mad, ain't it? So. That's why they don't have anything. And I, I'm stuck to be the one to tell them. I see your attitude that way you don't have anything. <laughs> Amen. 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 I, tell, I tell people all the time, I, I, I buy you something to eat. I'm like, you ain't no money. Y'all got it? So don't ever tell people what you, you don't have. Don't say that. I tell you, I said, I need everybody in to give me $100. They felt I ain't got it right now, but I'm going to give it. Amen. Don't say it, Pastor, I ain't got it. You know what you just said, right? Yeah. You're going to never have it. <laughs> that prayer already. Amen. 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 To share what you put in my spirit with the saints. I pray that their hearts will open and be accepted to it. I know that your word will not come back more, but it comes there with you. Please, and prophet, the thing whether you send it. I know you send it to empower your people to, to exercise their faith in having access, to not allow the enemy to keep them down and to call them to speak against what you've already said about them, but to say continually what you said about them. I ask that the holy angel will encamp around upon them to shield them, protect them from the spirit that are coming, trying to steal this word from them before they get home. Father, that this word may find a resting place, that it might begin to sprout and grow up in them and begin to become the characteristic of faith, that faith that work of my love. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, I pray. And everyone said, Amen. Amen, Amen. Amen again. Amen. Look at the neighbor and say, Remember. Remember. Because you got access. Got access. Don't help. Don't Let the devil make you think there's nothing you can do about your situation. Because you got access. God bless you. God bless you. Well, thank you, YouTube, Facebook, tuning in again. I hope you, I hope you hit that uh, share. Hope you hit that bell. Hit that like and subscribe. Amen. Amen. So that we continue to get this out. A lot of folks are not getting this teaching. They're not getting this ministry. And they need it. Young man was contacting me from overseas, concerned about the Ukraine, and asking what was it I could do. Somehow he misunderstood me saying I'm a minister. He thought I was a minister in the government, but that's what they call him over there. So I had to tell him I was a minister of righteousness and truth, an ambassador of the kingdom of heaven. There's a whole lot I can do. I'm waiting on marching orders. I already took that to dead to see what he got to say. Amen. Whatever he say, I'm going to say and declare and it's going to be. Right. And until he say it, though, I can't say it. Amen. Amen. Yeah. People ask the question sometimes. They say, well, does the children of God have that kind of authority? Yes. Uh, yeah. I can intervene and what I say from the Spirit will happen. But if it wasn't from God, right. I'd have to pay. So I'm cautious about what I say. Amen. Because I don't want to be in trouble with the, the head. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm the servant. He's the master. Amen. And even though I exercise his authority, if I misuse it, I have to pay for it. Amen. Mm. Y'all be sitting there talking about, oh, he died early. <laughs> mm. 
not knowing I could have dated all the whole step in my boundary. Amen. Amen. I'm excited and thrilled about the hour we living in uh, YouTube, Facebook. And I pray that you'll inform people and start tuning in because we're living in the last days. Things I'm saying are deliberately from heaven. Amen. The power for you and those that listen to my remember to deal with what's going on. So you're not being a clawed somewhere skin and high that you may be able to overcome and be victorious even in this hour. Amen. So tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell everybody you know, tune in. Amen. If you can get to my room at 508 South 9th Avenue, please come. For all that are not saved, bow your head, say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. You died for my sins. I believe that you were raised from the dead by the power of God. I accept you as my personal Savior. And I declare you before men. Teach me, guide me, instruct me and in how to please you. And Lord, I serve you to the day you come. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. If you believe that, you all get your Bible, get it, Romans to Romans to a Jew. Don't get in Revelation and other stuff yet. Get the Romans and Jew. Keep Amen. reading the study. Amen. So you grow in God. And connect us. Let us know. Give us an email or something. Email is uh, loveanddeliverance at gmail.com. Like agape, A G A P A E 9 at yahoo.com. If you like to send an offering, again, cash, app sign, L O V 3921. And we do have our PayPal me, I think, on the site. So if you scroll down, move down a little bit, you'll see it. I don't always remember what it is, but uh, going to mail it in to about 769 Dillon, South Carolina. God is blessing. I don't know if I said this Wednesday night or not, but we had two people uh, last week. I mean, they blessed and dropped, and we're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars. We're not talking about a thousand dollars, hundreds of dollars. We're talking about hundreds of thousands. Thank you. Did y'all hear what I just said? Hundreds of thousands. Lord. Blessed. Somebody say blessed. Blessed. Take one more time. Bless. 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 So tap in, tap in, tap in. Because the book said, if you're sowing the good soil, you'll read 30, 60, and 100. God bless you, Lord. Wednesday night. Be back here in the Lord's prayer lives. Amen. Amen. Sister Bob.